Hey everybody, welcome back to Barbecue Riot and welcome into the new year. On today's video, here's what we got going on. We are deep into the football season. The regular season's over. We've got just the playoffs going on, except in the pros, but it's right around the corner. So what is probably when you have friends over, what is probably the best thing that you could think of to feed them for the big time games? Huh? Prime rib. That's what we're going to be doing today. That's pretty much the Cadillac of pretty much everything. It's a prime rib. Do not be afraid of this. It's not hard to do. We're going to put it on the smoker. We got about five and a half pounders, so you know we're not doing the whole loin. We're just doing a small one. This is going to be fantastic. So I like to ask you if you like what you see on the video today. To subscribe to the channel and to like and share the content of the channel I like to ask you to ding the bell and when you ding the bell hit all now what that's going to do every time we put up some brand new material to YouTube or to YouTube shorts you'll get notified so you won't miss anything whatsoever you can also find us on Facebook at barbecue riot and we're also now doing Facebook reels so keep an eye for us over there oh and yes we're always on Instagram and TikTok. So let's quit running my mouth, let's get this going. Giddy up. All right, so like I said earlier, this is about a five and a half pounder. First thing you want to do is when you take it out of the package, you're going to want to pat it dry. Take you some paper towel, do all sides, you know, the bottom, the top, all that, okay. This one actually looks pretty good. This doesn't really have a, a big tail on it. Uh, this is off the, what I prefer, the better end of the ribeye. It does have a little bit of fat right here. So you do want to actually trim this up quite well. So you'll just take a knife and just trim this part up. All right, as you can see, this is trimmed up very nicely. Took all the fat off the top. So we are basically, basically just left with meat. All right, so what you want to do, you want to take a little bit of olive oil. You're going to want to coat the outside of it. You're going to want, this is, this is going to serve as, as, a, as a binder for us. Want to, want to hit both sides and uh, hit hit the ends also you know this is going to be a really nice piece of meat it's a big piece of meat so it could most definitely take seasoning and when we season this it's going to be seasoned quite liberally so tell you what so that's that's about done right there I right, said so for the seasoning we're going to be hitting it with two layers first we're going to start with just your basic barbecue seasoning made by Weber now, like I say, whenever you hit this man, you hit this thing liberally. So, I mean, put a lot on there. It's a big piece of meat, they can take it, that's for sure. So like I say, you wanna do uh, the top, bottom, be sure to hit the sides. Now, I tell you now, come on out of there. All right, here we go. All right, folks, let me tell you what Captain Dum Dum here did. I forgot to tie this thing. You will actually want to tie this before you season it. So now that I've tied it first, of course there is still one layer of seasoning. Any spot that you may mess up, just hit it with the first layer of seasoning. So you just want to take your take a string. You want to pull it tight. Oop, hey, stay on the board, man. Just pull it tight. This is going to give a shape. Go around like so. Oh, here we go. Now you're going to want to tie it. You want to, you want to put a string about every inch and a half. Now what this is for, this is going to help it keep its shape because you actually want this to be quite round and it'll help it cook more evenly. So as I'm fat fingering this. All right, so I'll go ahead and I'll throw the other two strings on here. Then we'll see what it looks like. Now that we have it tied up, our second layer is going to be a coffee rub. Now you may say, what's up with a coffee rub, man? What's that all about? Coffee rubs seem to be picking up popularity, so to speak. A lot of folks are putting coffee rubs on briskets. They're even putting like chocolate rubs on briskets. Now, I've never tried a chocolate brisket, but I have tried a coffee brisket. They are very good. I'm not a coffee guy, but the seasoning is very good. So you just want to hit this as liberally as you did the first one. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you, man, this is going to cause a tremendous crust on this thing. And that's one thing we're after, man. Obviously, you're always after taste, but we are wanting a really nice crust on this. So I'll show you what this looks like when we get done with it. 
Okay, so our prime rib, we're going to be smoking it in an electric smoker today. There has been a recent storm coming through southern West Virginia and everything I've got out back is covered in snow, plus it's blue cold. Like I said, we're going to smoke it on 275, we're using hickory chips. Okay, now, now is where I'm going to cause a big stir. When people fix prime rib, they smoke it to an internal temperature of around 127. Okay, for me, I don't like that. I don't. I, I just don't like it whatsoever. You cut into it, and red huh? red runs all over the place. They say it's not blood. They say it's juice. Whatever. I just don't like the looks of it. So I'm going to probe mine to around 140, 142 on the inside. When it gets done, we're going to pull it off. We're going to put it in like a, a little foil pan, and we're going to cover it with foil for about an hour. It's still going to cook a little bit, so when we slice into this, it's going to be 145 plus. Now, we're also going to be making a creamy horseradish dip to go with this, and I'm going to tell you, man, this is going to be good. So, the prime rib is resting. You also want to put this on cold, as cold as you can possibly get it, because the colder it is, the longer it's going to take for it to come up to temperature, so it's going to take on more smoke. All right, so this is how it turned out. It looks really nice and it smells delicious. So here's our little smoke we're going to be using today. It's up to 275, so we're going to go ahead and put this thing in. Just like I say, we're going to probe it, and when it gets to 142, we're going to go ahead and pull it out. So while the prime rib is smoking, let's go ahead and throw this horseradish dip together real quick. So let's start with a couple dollops of mayonnaise. Let's go ahead and hit it with a dollop of sour cream. Sour cream is going to give it a bit of body. Hit it with a squirt of horseradish sauce. A little bit of garlic, hit it with some Worcestershire sauce, kick it up a tad with some TP, Texas P. Now you just want to go in there and mix it up. This is going to be so good, it's going to pair with that prime rib all right. So that's all there is to this. You just put it in a bowl. If you want to chill it, go ahead. Want to leave it out room temperature, go ahead. Up to you. All right, let's see what we got. got a little smoke coming out. Let's take a peek. Oh yeah, oh yes, this looks nice. So like I say, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna put it in our tinfoil pan. We're gonna tint this. We're gonna let this rest about an hour before we do anything with it. Man, I am so excited. Now we've pulled us off the heat, we've let it set for an hour. Let's see what this looks like. Oh my goodness, wow, this smells Terrific. Got a little jiggle with it. That's what I'm talking about. Man, that's just, this is unbelievably good looking. It just really is. So let's flip it over. Actually, let's not flip it over. Let's just go ahead and we'll, we'll cut the strings off of it. I think everybody's waited long enough. Let's go in with the slicer. We'll take his first piece off. Man, this is just walking right through this. Let's take another piece off here. Let's see. See what we got going on once we get past the end. Now, I'm gonna tell you, man, I really like the ends. The ends are my favorite. This is gorgeous. Let's take off another one. My goodness, this is just walking right through this. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that, oh my goodness. I tell you, that's beautiful. And stuff's not running all over the place. I gotta go in. We got some of our mayo horseradish deal here. Let's hit it. Mm. Dude, that's just straight up butter. Tell you what, we gotta take a break for the steak. Give me one minute. I gotta get another. I'm telling you, this is unbelievable. It will not disappoint your crab. It's it's so simple, it's so easy. It really is just a few steps, have a smoker. This did take about three hours and 25 minutes, but basically you don't check on it at all. I didn't. Of course, I was using an electric smoker. It's pretty much a set it and forget it type of thing. But man, this was delicious. If you don't have a smoker, you can still do it in your oven. It's going to turn out great. So listen, I want to thank y'all for all y'all do. Thanks for tuning in and watching this guy's crazy annex. Try this prime rib. 
and that dipping salsa goes with it. You'll be so happy you did. Giddy up.